Are you sitting down? Good. <laughs> yes, it's all that. Hi YouTube, it's Ed, aka BumbleJumper82, back on your screens for another video. And how are you doing? It's good to see you. We're in March, it's a bit sunnier, and I personally love it in March because it's my birthday this month. So there will be robots, there will hopefully be a haul, and my excitement is building. Transformers War for Cybertron Siege deserves a lot of credit. I know when it first came out, people were very, oh, I don't like the scuff marks and the battle damage. However, I think it adds character to some of those robots and it does fit in with the Cybertronian aesthetic. And today we're looking at Refractor, this guy. Now, I missed the boat on this guy originally because, well, Reflector, which is the character he's based on, is something of a, meh. It's, I mean, he did feature in the original three episodes of the old G1 cartoon, More Than Meets the Eye, and I think Skywarp used him as a spy camera, but I, I took a look at him and I thought, nah, you're all right, mate, you're all right, and I just carried on getting the other Siege bots, but lately I've been kind of thinking, oh, I really want to maybe complete my Siege collection as best I can, there will be some I won't ever get. So I picked this guy up from Forbidden Planet. And I've got to admit, I'm pretty happy with him. Starting in robot mode, yeah, I like him. He's he's very quintessentially robot looking, chonky, and although he's a bit small, when I compared him in size to Prowl, yeah, he's not as small as I thought he was. So let's have a look at his face. Yeah, he's generic looking, but I really do like the aesthetic. You get your usual siege articulation with a bit of that thrown in? I mean, that that's that's something. <laughs> Let's talk accessories. He comes with two. He comes with his standard gun, his rifle, which looks a bit like a Tommy gun. Yeah, that works for me. He also comes with a slightly rounded shield piece, which will feature in the combined mode. We'll get to that in a second. That's pretty successful. And you can put his shield on his fist as well. Not sure whether that works for me, to be honest. Let's transform War for Cybertron Siege Refractor into his alt mode. Don't get your hopes up, okay? Are you sitting down? Good. Here is his alt mode. And it's definitely a thing. I would say it's a Cybertronian jet of some kind. He definitely went to the Siege Sandwave school of imagination alt modes. Although Sandwave's alt mode is like a Cybertronian loaf of bread. We've got some skis underneath for going down hills on Cybertron, maybe? I don't know. This passes for a cockpit. Yeah, I can get behind that. I certainly can get behind that. From the back, well, not much to see here. I kind of like it, actually. It's got a little bit of charm. I think maybe when I first saw it, it was a case of, oh, I don't like that alt mode, I'll, I'll pass, I'll pass. The point of Refractor is, and this is a bit of a marked employ, you've got to get three of them, and then you can build the camera mode, which is on the box. So I need to get another two if I want to build a camera. Do I want to get another two? Oh, I... If I, if I see the... No. No, I don't want to get another two of these. Come on, Ed, you don't need another two of these. They're not actually that easy to come by now, and maybe if I saw them second hand, I think there was a gift set in the old Diaclone colours. Actually, no, they wouldn't have been Diaclone, they would have been Micro Change, Micro Man. You know what I mean, pre Transformers. So, would I recommend War for Cybertron Siege Refractor? Yes, I think I would. I love the robot mode. The alt mode is a bit of fun, isn't it? And you've got to use your imagination somewhat. He's alright, if you see him, get him. So this has been Ed, aka BumbleJump82, with War for Cybertron Siege, Refractor. He's not a bad little bot. I'll be back very soon with my birthday haul. Looking forward to that. Take care, peace out, and bye-bye! <laughs>